Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to change outfits using AI. In this case, we've got this uh, attractive lady here in a bathing suit, and I want it to be a polka dot bathing suit, for example. This can work on anything, but you know, I chose her for scientific reasons. Okay, so let's get going. First off, before I go much further, keep in mind that I am in the Photoshop beta. This is going to be using their new generative AI, and it hasn't quite shipped in the final package. So uh, if you want to get this and you don't have the beta, just go up here into your Creative Cloud, select beta apps, and then install Photoshop beta. Okay, let's get going. The first step here, there are multiple ways to do this, but I'm gonna grab the quick selection tool, and then I'm going to select her top, just like I've done here. I just left clicked on it and presto. Now, after I've done that, you'll see here that this bar has shown up. This is new. And one of the things we can do is generative fill. I'm gonna left click on generative fill. And then it says you can describe what you'd like to generate or feel free to leave this blank. So I'm gonna just type in polka dot. So that's what I want. I want polka dots on her bathing suit. Let's go ahead and click generate. Now this just takes a few seconds. Keep in mind, again, this is in the beta and this is done in the cloud. This is not done on your computer. This is remote done through the Adobe cloud. And how did it turn out? Well, it turned out pretty bad for the first one. Let's see what, oh, nope, not good. Yes, we got a winner right there. And it even created her chest muscles and stuff like that. So there you go. It's not always a winner, but sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. This is fantastic. You can do this with anybody. If a guy's got a suit on and you want it to be a track suit, this is how you do it, guys, inside Photoshop. Thanks for watching.